Honest J. Nowak. Coming at you live. All right. A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to Honest Jade Nowak once again. And so, here we got ourselves something new to talk about. Number 951, optimism. A sort of mentality that does in fact relate to hope and fulfillment, that one day the future will in fact become brighter than what the past and present has shown us. And you know what? At this point in time, now would be a great time to in fact talk about this in particular because as you all know we're only a couple of weeks away from being the end of 2021 and then the beginning of 2022 will be right upon us it's not only going to be an amazing event that'll ever take place it might just be one of the best i've ever seen in my life to be out of such a horrible year like this i mean I don't even know what else to say at this point. The fact that this has shown to be the absolute worst period in history, and that's not just talking about my perspective, I mean, there's so many people out there that are in fact talking about this. I feel like that my questions have finally been answered. And I feel like that everybody is finally admitting to the truth here. Like, I could probably just rest easy, but yet I probably shouldn't. Not at least for the next couple of weeks. Because we still have a lot of work to do here around on Kaiju Force Neo. And I know I keep saying we, but that's actually because I've made a few vlogs before showcasing my sibling Luke, as well as some others, pretty much. They've come around to the channel every now and then to help work on content and all that some of them have even done uploads for me every now and then and i'm more than glad that i have help from them if there's one thing though that i might as well should that i might as well have right now it might as well be optimism at this point anything else could happen anything at all someone could drop a nuke and blow up an entire state somebody could come crashing down in a mediator or meteor man like my brain here I'm literally going local right now that's how bad this year is like at least I'm, a I'm actually gonna be heading on over to a psychology office because this is just unbelievable the fact that all these events are happening pedophiles are allowed to roam free and LGBT rights are in fact being removed without any reasoning. In addition to that, we also have way too many people suffering from a pandemic and there's little to no justice on any of this. Why it's apparently a thing that people have to refuse masks and vaccines, like, wow. This year can go officially dig its own grave 6,000 feet down under, throw itself in it, pour kerosene on itself, light itself on fire, and then when it's nothing but a bunch of ashes, it could just rot there for the rest of time. It could take its very real, unbelievable, awful, terrible, horrible, no good, very bad, everything with it! Oh, man. Hopefully all the lies about 2020 are gone, too. They can go right down in that hole with it. They deserve each other the way I, the way I see it. I've literally had it with this year. And I'm more than glad I'm going to be making a long, long, long video about why this year is the absolute worst thing to ever happen, period. So, do be sure to check out my channel for that. And you know what? Optimism is just optimism. And I'm glad that I'm going to be having that, especially when the next year comes by, once and for all. 
and defeats this year. So, anyways, if you want to see more, go down to my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.